She always keeps her head high, eyes sparkling like a bright star in the sky. She has an admirable stamina, beauty, and courage. She inspires love and happiness. Her beauty shines from the inside out. It flows like a journey down a long route. Her smile shines beautifully like a sun rising over the horizon. She's intelligent and very hardworking. This impeccable woman is Mrs. Adetoru Olada. Born to the Labinja family of Lagos in 1959, she began her education at St. Stephen's Primary School at Deniji Adeli. She proceeded to Holy Trinity Grammar School, Ibadan, where she obtained her West African School Certificate. She happened to be a very fine, beautiful, elegant, no-nonsense prefect, somebody who enjoys hard work and uh, highly principled. She's a very wonderful lady, very confident, and a very likable person. She is very, very friendly. She likes to be in the midst of we boys in those days because she was doing things like a boy. In fact, we used to tease her, calling her Tomboy. Another name we used to call her was Toronto, Canada, or Toronto, Canada. She's been a loving sister. She is very honest, very plain, very jovial. She, she's kind. In pursuit of more knowledge, skill, and competence, she obtained the Nigerian Certificate in Education from Lagos State Advanced Teachers College, now Adeniro Ogunsoya College of Education, in 1981. She progressed to acquire a degree in Bachelor of Education in English in 1986 and a Master of Science in Mass Communication in 1991 at the University of Lagos. She's a very simple lady and she's a disciplined person highly disciplined. She doesn't take rubbish. She doesn't tolerate any nonsense at all. She's easygoing. She's calm. She's down to earth. And she's very, very humble. Toro, she's a straightforward person. A disciplinary. She will not take nonsense from anybody. She's kind. And she's hardworking. She dresses well. I love her, her way of dressing. She's always corporate. She loves corporate dresses. More than all this, I wear and Bubba. And I know her, she doesn't play with her work. During her National Youth Service Corps in 1981, Adetoru became a bridge between all we see and all we say. Between what happened and who cares. Between good evening and good day. When she became a freelance newscaster and continuity announcer, at Broadcasting Corporation of Oyo State, Ibadan. As a student, we party together. You know, that was when we were single. When we got married, the family exchanged visits. We have always been having a very pleasant and memorable occasion. She's very friendly, open-minded, accommodative. She's responsive and reliable. You can always lean on her for anything and very hardworking. She later joined the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in 1992 as sub-editor and served in various capacities before rising to the position of senior editor in 2008. She left behind in each of her tour duty a legacy of a hard-working, daring, unique and seasoned journalist. Core professional, a diligent worker, a woman of high sense of responsibility and leadership. I feel so proud to be associated with this rare gem of a lady, a mother, a wife, and a friend to so many people within the Nigerian journalism circle. It is my prayer that she has greater days ahead of her, even in retirement. I know her to be a very upright lady straight, disciplined, and a leader. And when she worked for me, she proved this 
by introducing new initiatives into my media section. She worked diligently. She 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 is very very effective and very hardworking lady. I can tell you for free that she's a thoroughbred professional when it comes to journalism. She's somebody who will tell you what she feels about you. In other words, she's very blunt. When it comes to telling you how she feels about any issue, she tells you her impression. Except and until you can fault her stand, she holds on to whatever she believes. In 2011, she was redeployed to the Ministry of Information and Strategy, first as head of press room and then head of strategy center. At the two places, she gave the shape, vision, and direction which helped in galvanizing communication-oriented actions and responses to government policies and programs. It was from there she rose to become the Director of Public Affairs, a post she occupied until her statutory retirement. She's a very intelligent officer. She defines the essence of beauty, that it is not in the looks alone, it is in the brain. The commitment, the passion to get things done, and ability to carry others along. She's diligent at work. Um, she maintains a cordial and mutually respectable relationship with her peers. And when she's going to take a decision, it's always a firm but fair decision. She doesn't. Um, She's not somebody who will take a decision based on whether she likes your face or not. She takes the decision that is fair and um, acceptable. Toru Oladapo is a great unionist and a formidable gender advocate. She's known for raising a voice for women's rights and breaking down barriers for women from a place of compassion and love. These attributes were displayed during her regime as the student union executive member at the Advanced Teachers College in 1978. This passion has also been demonstrated on many fronts. She was an active member of the Defunct Women in Nigeria, WIN, then claimed for women empowerment during the military era in 1990. Through her tenacious commitment to the ideals and values of the body, she rose to become the national coordinator in year 2000. When I was actually in my early 30s, someone introduced me to an organization called Women in Nigeria. So I went for the meeting. And when I entered the meeting venue, a young lady was there, marshalling at her points, talking authoritatively. You know, I saw activity written over, all the, the, over this woman. So it's like I was, wow, what kind of a woman is this? I picked interest in her immediately. I went for the first time as an observer, so she made me click to that organization because all along I've been having that zeal to work for women. So I was trying to look for where to vent out that energy in me to work for women. In the course of her career as a journalist and member of Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, a Nigerian Guild of Editors, NGE, tours exemplary conduct and character did not go without being noticed. In recognition of her sterling qualities and impressive capabilities, especially her firm and resolute spirit in pursuit of the rights of women, she emerged as the president of Nigerian Association of Women Journalists, NAWAJ, between 2003 and 2007. She is very energetic. She is a no-nonsense person. She's very principled. I think that's the word I would use for her. And so when she believes in something, she stands her ground and she follows it to the letter. As a gender activist, she stood against women inequality, sexual harassment, sexual and domestic violence. She also posed the glass ceiling in journalism by making efforts to increase women's access and leadership in media. She has been a huge source of encouragement for women to take up journalism as a profession. She has also been offering support to existing journalists to become respected members of their newsrooms. 
I can say Mrs. Oladakpo is a very disciplined person. She's a disciplinarian. She's um, one of the most generous human beings I've ever met. So she set my life onto the path it is today. So my respect for her is awesome. On a light hand, my parents are jealous for the love I have for her. As a woman who believes in a chosen profession, Adetoru Oladapo has a testimony of being a thoroughbred professional and a seasoned journalist per excellence. This has been confirmed through numerous awards bestowed on her. Among such are Nigerian Women in Politics Award of Recognition in 2003, African Youth Role Model Award in 2009, Distinguished Career and Journalism Award in 2009 and Women of Courage Award in 2016. It's a sister in a million. She's so, so nice, very amiable, very friendly. She loves talking and she dances a lot. In tandem with her Christian faith, she demonstrates a huge faith in God and exemplifies purity of character. These have also guided her in the course of her career and sojourn in life. Then was my mom. My mom now is my friend. She was more of a mom when I was younger, so she was very strict. She and her friends are, I don't know, I think they selected themselves really for, I don't know, to be friends because they are all alike. Even, you could, I couldn't even have nail polish, white nail polish on my nails till maybe I was 20 or 21 because you will not try that in a house. And she'll tell you, even when I was in school, she'll tell you, oh, there are some things you can do in school. Oh, no problem, I'm not seeing you. But the minute you get home, just take it off. I don't want to see it. So she was, yeah, she was very strict. Growing up was, was quite tough. But my mom of now, oh no, that's my best friend. And I think there is nothing, I would say there's nothing on this earth that I don't tell her. There's nothing about me she doesn't know. And it's so bad that even my friends even trust her. Some trust her more than their own parents or their own moms. Well, of course, an amazing woman. Um, so, so many experiences over the years that, has, um, that we can go back on and talk about our love, our support. Um, one of the key words to always say is she's one of the most supportive persons that, you know, that I know that I've ever met in my life. She's tough. But the thing about her is she is very knowledgeable, very, very, very knowledgeable about a lot of things. So when you sit with her, there's a lot of discussion going on and there's a lot of learning going on with her. And I think I really enjoyed conversations that we have when we sit and we just, you can just have for a very, 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 very long time on different topics and different things about life. She's a very good person. She's hardworking and she's very generous. She's very hardworking. She encourages people when they are down. She's someone you can look up to when you feel sad or, or any problem you are facing. She's, she's the type of person you can go to and, and she'll help you with it. Mrs. Adetoru Oladapo, you're a woman of substance, a lady of dignified and impeccable character and a beautiful wife. You are a mother to all who come across you you're also a reliable boss, a dependable colleague and friend. As you bow out of Lagos State Public Service after years of meritorious service, we celebrate you and your immense contributions to the development of Lagos State. Here is wishing you the very best in your future endeavors. <laughs>